Hello everybody, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having a really good weekend and we have rain. It is wonderful. If you've watched the chicken and garden update, you will already know about the rain. I will probably get more progressively wet as this video goes on because I'm standing outside in the rain. If I use an umbrella while I'm recording, it makes my face look very dark when it's a long way away. And I know Michael's already going to be kind of a little bit cross about the, the choice here, but I'm trying to keep the camera dry, at least for this, while I stand out here next to my F-150 Lightning pickup truck, because today the topic of the Sunday musing is something that uh, I've had personal experience with this past week or rather this past month. So if you're watching this, it is September. Happy September. It's a Labor Day weekend. I hope that you are enjoying it and happy birthday to my my wonderful wife who has her birthday on Monday. Um, but the start of September meant that I had to go and buy some new tags for this behemoth. If you don't live in America, you might not understand how the, the tag system works. So in some countries of the world, you have like a little disc you put in the window, although they don't do that in the UK anymore. In other countries around the world, once you've paid your registration fees for a particular period of time, you get a little sticker that you put on your license plate. Here in Oregon, we have to have a license plate on the front and the rear of a vehicle if it has more than four, four wheels uh, or it has four or more wheels you have to have a um, have to have a tag on the front and on the back because a massive spider just ran down there sorry it just distracted me and because we purchased a deer atal last year and we had tags from my other car my my chevrolet bolt ev and they were still valid what we did was we just transferred the license plate over so when my Bolt EV's tags ran out, um, I got a letter from the Department of Motor Vehicles going, hey, you have to renew your registration for this truck. You have to buy some new tags. And I think it was like $470-ish for the year, uh, except it's for two years, not one year. So it's two years. My tags are now good through until 2025. So in 2025, I'll get another letter and say, hey, you need to re-register your vehicle now that those tags cover me being on the road it allows me to be a a registered vehicle on the road it means i don't get in trouble with the police for not having updated tags but if you have an electric vehicle and you live in the state of oregon you have to pay a surcharge on top of the standard renewal fee i think it's about 200 dollars more and that covers some of the lost revenue from you driving an electric vehicle instead of driving a gas powered vehicle or a diesel powered vehicle. And the question for today is, is that a thing that you personally support? Should EV owners pay more to tag their vehicles because we don't buy gasoline? And in most parts of the world, there is a tax on gasoline that some way somehow ends up going into public funds that may or may not end up going towards paying for things like road improvements and road upkeep and maintenance. That is a very grey area and lots of people have argued that actually your registration fee doesn't actually go towards road upkeep. That gets funded in different ways and I think it does uh, exactly that in, in Oregon. I think it probably comes from a different uh, pot because Oregon's not got a very big population and we've got lots of land. I mean, Oregon is is pretty big. It's not the biggest state, obviously, by any stretch of the imagination, but our population density is really, really low. And so I think probably we get a lot of federal funding to keep our roads going. But anyway, <laughs> let's not delve into Oregonian politics. I do want to know, though, if you think it is fair and if it is just and if as an EV owner, you don't mind paying extra fees every time you register your vehicle or if you are of the opinion that it is a backdoor tax often brought about by by legislators who don't want you to drive an electric vehicle and are trying to dissuade you from from owning an EV. I would love to know what your thoughts are. Obviously we have two EVs and and this EV here it, it's good until 2025 the tags on this expire at the end of this year, so we're going to have to spend another 400 and some dollars. We actually will pay slightly less for my wife's car 
because she doesn't have a custom license plate. I have a custom license plate on a custom background. Uh, and so, yes, if I want to keep it, I have to pay a little bit more. And that's fair. I, I personally don't mind paying a little bit extra to keep my custom plate and my custom background. Um, but I know a lot of people who do mind paying extra for the EV bit. And um, if you are one of those people, I would love for you to civilly tell me in the comments below why you feel the way you do. What is it that makes this uh, not cool as far as you're concerned? And if you are um, if you are someone who doesn't mind paying, maybe you can share with the class why you don't mind paying that extra money. Because honestly, um, like I say, I, I don't mind. I would rather do that than a pay as you go system. So the state of Oregon has a pay as you go system, which is an alternative. So you pay a very low registration fee for your two years. We do it every two years. I know Washington does it every year. We do it every two years. And you do this pay as you go system. You have a transponder in your car. It records how many miles you travel in state. And then it sends you a bill every so many months or every year or so and you have a bill based on how many dry miles you've driven on the road and I don't like the pay per mile scheme because it tracks where you go I know there's loads of other ways of tracking um, me and my movements my mobile phone and all of that but I personally would rather not be tracked by an additional piece of information um, additionally uh I would support, interestingly, as somebody with a massive vehicle, I would support paying more for my registration because this is a behemoth, as I've said. Um, I try not to drive it very often, but I would support paying more if it was a heavy vehicle, whether it was a heavy electric vehicle or a heavy internal combustion engine vehicle. I would support paying more because it's going to have more wear and tear on the road. This is heavier. It's going to have a heavier impact on the road itself when I'm driving, especially if I'm towing something big and heavy. I should have to pay extra for that. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. And I don't know how terribly I look right now because I don't have, <laughs> don't have any way of checking. But I know my hair is probably looking pretty plastered right now. But don't worry. It's a nice, gentle rain. It's a welcome rain. I'm going to go inside and warm up. I bet my makeup is probably running in all sorts of horrible things. Anyway, hopefully you'll put up with that. Lots of people this week have been criticising how I look, how Kate looks and all those other things. And it, it gets old. Anyway, on that note, we are done with today's video. If you have comments, you can drop us a polite note. Emphasis on the polite below. Uh, you can reach out to us in the Discord chat room. You can reach out to us on Mastodon or if you're a Patreon supporter, you can reach out to us there. If you want more, subscribe, hit the bell and follow the links below to regularly support us with a YouTube membership or a Patreon subscription. You'll also find links to our Kofi Bitcoin and swag store as well as that aforementioned Mastodon server. Scrolling on my right is a list of amazing charged up supporters and shout outs go out to our V2G Patreon supporters. Alan Tupper, Andrew Martin, Bennett Elder, Brophy Wolf, Chris Maxwell, Cyprian Laplace, Dan Blair, Gordon C, Hey Asker, John Tramal, Carl Fox, Mark Eggleton, Peter Dillinger, Regine Fellows, Sean Tucker, Stefan Fremden, Stephen Williams, Tesla in the Gong, Paul Bricknell, Tony Moss, Carl Hudson, Chris Centaur, Denny Hyde, Lance Lyle, Linda Irish, Mike Weeder, and Paul Nelson. And finally, big thanks to our off-grid supporters. They are Paul Conway, Kevin Burrowbridge, Stephen O'Donoghue, Jim Vanessa, Robert Flannery, Aaron Hahn, Ellery Hensley, Rory Litwin, JP Fagerback. There is a drop. Dave Kitchen, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, Chris and Michael Johnson, Clay Witt, CPU Freak 101, Eric Knack, Joe Bresney and uh, who else? I've lost the place. Joe Bresney, John Henderson, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Matthew Drobnak, Nigel S, Reggie Watts, Will Graylin and of course Ian. Sorry, that was very unprofessional. Don't forget that we make content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday on the main channel. Plus, on a Sunday, we're here for Transport Evolved Take Two for the Chicken and Garden and Sunday Musing. You've just watched the Sunday Musing. Go and watch the Chicken and Garden in which I will get even wetter wandering around the garden. I'm actually going to film that next. So I'm filming them backwards, but shh, don't tell anyone. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you next weekend at Fully Charged Live Canada. If you are coming, come and say hello. Anyway, whatever you enjoy next, stay safe, be an ally, be cool. And until next time, keep evolving. Keep evolving.